In this mini episode of Ghostly Activities, your host, Jake Rice, interviews Mike Morin from Surrey, British Columbia, about an encounter he has with black eyed children. So, Mike, you let me know earlier today that you had an encounter with black eyed children. What happened? I did, or at least I think I did. Um, what happened was, in my dream, I was being chased by these, started off as people, it was in an old historic house in a property, and they kept yelling, get out of here, go, leave, get the F out of here. So that's what I'm trying to do. And then the whole time, it feels like I'm being chased or stalked by some weird presence. And then um, I find myself lost in this giant old house. I'm going through all the rooms trying to get a way out. But then I feel this presence coming further and further and further behind me whenever I closed doors or opened doors to get into places. And um, what happened was I was in this one room and I could hear, please, sir, let us in. Please, sir, let us in. Let us in. Please, sir, let us in. Over and over again. And when I hear this in the room where I'm at, I'm just crouched behind like a dresser. And it kept saying, please, sir, let us in. Then it'd go to a really low, let us in. And then this must have been a washroom. Because I look in the old, old mirror. It was like one of those silver type mirrors. And I see two pale children. All They were wet. They had black hair, pale skin, wearing 1800 style English clothes. And their eyes were completely black. Now, this isn't something I'm used to hearing about. I've, I've always heard about like you're just awake at home and you get the strange knock on the door. Is, is it common for black eyed children to manifest in dreams? Um, I did speak. I reached out to David Weatherly today and he says, yes, he's received reports, reports of black eyed children in dreams. But the kicker of this story is when I woke up like awake, because I looked at my phone at the time, it was two thirty three AM. I hear a knock on my door and I'm like, Nope, <laughs> that did not just happen. Did not happen. So I turned my TV on, turn the light on. I wait a little bit. I didn't obviously didn't hear the Please let me in. Hello, sir. Or whatever it was that gross old English accent, just creepy sounding. Not all English accents are gross, but you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but then I finally opened the door because I needed to go get some water. I needed to, to cool down and uh, nothing was there, but I heard the door knock. Interesting. Now, the other thing, I guess, with black eyed children, I, I haven't heard of them appearing in, say, Victorian era clothing. I guess that would be would be that time from 1800s. Um you know, I hear about the clothes being a bit more contemporary hmm. than that. So that could be interesting because could it also just be some kind of ghostly manifestation too? Because we don't really know what black eyed children are. I, I, I agree with you. And I always thought like, I love hearing the black eyed children's stories. I'm always open mm -hmm. to hearing and listening to them. And re I research it a lot, actually. Um, I didn't think I'd ever experienced something like that, but in my opinion, I experienced something like that last night. Okay. Now the other part of it, as I get all curious and start quizzing you like a lawyer, right? Um, I've heard usually when you encounter black eyed children, like you get this weird hangover effect from it. Uh, now, mind you, these physical ail ailments I'm talking about are if you open the door, if you let them in or you meet their gaze. It can happen. Did you have any strange physical sensations while this was happening? I would say I'm tired today, mm -hmm. um, but I don't think I'm, 
I wouldn't have thought that that's what it was from. Um, I did meet their gaze in the mirror because I was like, what the F? And looked in both of their eyes. One was a boy, and I think he was probably 12 to 13. The other was probably maybe 9 to 10. Like, clear height difference. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I, I... I don't think I have a hangover feeling today. I am tired, but I had chalked that up to waking up in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, good point. Good point. You know, the other thing I'm really interested in finding out is the relationship between black-eyed children. And people don't know about this as much, but if you are if you have a certain ethnic background, you do. They're called mylings. I mean, I might be mispronouncing it. Um, mylings are children that were abandoned in the woods and died. And oh, wow. they come back to get revenge. Uh, well, uh, maybe revenge is too strong of a word. But they come back to drain sustenance from someone that reminds them of their parents or, or whoever had abandoned them. So it's not uncommon if you're lost in the woods. Uh, usually it happens to women. You hear a baby crying or something like to- a toddler calling out to you and you go to investigate. And then one of these creepy dead babies who also have black eyes start sucking on that life force, you know what I'm saying. Wow, yeah. It's it's from Scandinavian folklore. No, I have no Scandinavian blood in me. I'm Ukrainian and French. Um, but, you know, I'm saying you look like light hair and blue-eyed. Yeah, true. I, I could be, uh, I could be uh, misidentified. That's right. <laughs> I, I'm still going to go with the black-eyed children in this case of yeah. it, but there's also other possibilities for these Uh entities i i mean we could debate what they are maybe we should save that for an episode of ghostly activities um yeah. but i i've always wanted to do more research into black eyed children as well now after this encounter have you did you research what would be some sort of paranormal protection someone could use i haven't i um i've been busy today but that's on the goal. I, I quickly YouTubed a few videos and I saved them for later to watch tonight. Um, I'm going to do a lot of research on that the next day or two because it actually rattled me. I've been thinking about it quite a bit today and I don't I don't get rattled often. But this one has kind of made me think about like, is that folklore like a thing? Like actually, like I never discredited people's stories, but now that I'm a, I guess, a person that's experienced it, it's opened up a, opened up a whole new can of thought processes for me okay well you know what let's put a pin on that for this very short interview and we'll come back and we'll look into recording a longer ghostly activities episode focused on black eyed children i like it okay thanks for the call mike thank you <laughs> 